Chris T here from the depot coming to you with the how-to video for our plus servers, specifically a feature of the operations center. We're going to talk about creating a train report and adding it to a crude train in the OC. We'll go through the process of saving a train, finding the location of the save file, and then uploading it to a train's dashboard in the operations center. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first step is to save the train itself. Here we have our test train in eastbound Bargau. After taking control of the train, hit the F1 key to bring up the main menu. In the middle row of tabs at the top, you'll see two tabs, Load, Save, and Save As. If this is your first time creating a save, click the Save As tab. Drop down to where you see three buttons, Extra Board, Train, and World, and go ahead and click Train. If you look to the right, you'll see where it explains what each one of these does. We need to save our train file so we're under the Train category. Here, we can give our train its file name and provide a brief description if you want to. Personally, for the use of creating train reports like we're doing here, I create a train save that I will consistently overwrite. That way my sim doesn't get plugged up with a ton of saved train files that I'll have to dig through. You can also save trains here for future spawns, so if there's a particular train you run consistently, you can give it a unique name and it'll constantly spawn in the same place. Now let's go ahead and give our train a name. We'll call it Depot Plus Test Train. And below we'll give it a brief description for testing purposes. After we've done that, click Save at the bottom right. Now your train has been saved. The next question is, where on earth do they save it to? Well, we have to dig into the game's folders and files, but we'll cover this step by step. But first, we need to go into the Operations Center and to our train's dashboard so we can begin the process of uploading the file. Now we're in the Operations Center on the dashboard of the test train I've created for our video. Underneath the train's information, you'll see where it says Train Report, and then the Create Report button to the immediate right. Click that. From here, we can upload our XML file of our test train and create a train report. Click Choose File. Your computer setup and running installed may differ slightly from mine, but that's just how computers work. We'll go through this thoroughly to make sure we get to the right place. First, let's find the running installation. For most people, it's in the C drive, so let's go there by clicking Windows C drive. Here is where my Run8 is located, so we'll click on the Run8 Studios, then Run8 Train Simulator V2, and now we're in the nitty gritty of the install. Next, we'll move into Content, then V2 Roots. This is where all of the route files are located. Now we'll click Regions, and then we'll move into the appropriate region. As of now, the game is split into the three regions shown here. HRS Southeast, which is Waycross and the A-Line, Selkirk Region, which is Selkirk and Mohawk, and Southern California, which encompasses every SoCal route we've got. Since we saved our train to Barstow, we'll open the Southern California folder. And then we'll open the trains folder, and within this folder is all of the trains, extra board, and world save files. Now to find our depot plus test train, we can go about it two ways. We can look for it alphabetically, or we can sort the files by date and bring up the most recently modified file to the top. Above the file list, either click name or date modified column to sort the file. So we'll click date modified, and here our files come right to the top, depot plus test train. We're looking for the XML file, not the info file. Make sure you've got the right one by checking the type column at the top. Once you find it, click it to highlight it, and then click Open at the bottom right. Now click Create Train Report. You should be redirected back to the train's dashboard with the train report added to it. Scroll down and find it there you'll be able to scroll down and see a very detailed report of your train. You can use the same process we just went through to update your train report after making a pickup or a set out during a trip, so that way you have good, consistent paperwork the entire time. And that's it! It's a lot simpler than it looks to create and upload a train report to the Operations Center. If you're not a Depot Plus member but like what you've seen, you can join us! A link will be in the description below, but you can go to www.thedepotserver.com to join our public server and apply for Depot Plus membership. Applicants must be 17 or older to apply, and after filling out an application, you will be considered for a check ride to make sure you have basic knowledge of how to run a train, how to read signals, and so on. Hopefully, we'll see you running trains soon. So thank you to everyone who watched and run with us. Take care, have fun out there, guys.